Previous polls, especially in 2007 and 2017, were marked by violence. Thus, while the Kenya National Chamber of Commerce Industry and other stakeholders made significant efforts to ensure peaceful elections, current political dynamics, particularly the shifting political alliances and the country's post-independent history of election-related violence, had many citizens speculate about the prospect of a tumultuous election. The competitiveness of the elections and also uncertainty over the outcome distinguishes Kenya from many of its neighbors as elections in Kenya remain a period of high tension, unfortunately. Election violence in Mombasa County has been a major issue in the previous elections, and there were fears that this vote could spur conflict in identified areas like Likoni, Kisauni, and Vita. Thus, many businesses opted to remain closed. We are happy to note that Mombasa County remains peaceful with normality resuming slowly and everybody going on with their normal business contrary of what was expected. The National Security Advisory Committee, which comprises of top security and government officials, and also assured the country of adequate security as they go about their activities. The government's role is to provide a policy and to provide an atmosphere where the businessmen can do genuine business and contribute in their fair share of paying taxes. So we expect the incoming government, whichever it will be, after the final rounds of disputes and anything else is done, we expect the incoming government to be able to put policies in place that will be able to open up the environment for good business to thrive. We'd be expecting this government to ensure that Dongokundu, the special economic zone, is working. We'd be expecting this government to ensure that the businesses that were suffering as a result of COVID or any other measures negative are, are, are being restored to work. We basically expect a government that would be involving the business community in the decisions that we'll be making policy-wise so that we are part and parcel of the journey with the government as opposed to, to loading down on us.